Now it's time to break it. Welcome back to the Split Screeners Podcast. We took a week off last week. Woo! We're back. We meant to film, but we did it. Huh? We, yeah. Yeah. He's not wrong. What we we had all the intention oh. of filming an episode while we were abroad. But abroad. we enjoyed our vacation instead. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we went to Dave and Buster's instead. Which <laughs> country? <laughs> we are your hosts, Gavin. To my right, Zach and Aaron. So, and I'm Nick. We're back with our movie, movie, bookie, bookie for the new people that are just tuning in. This is our movie book club we do every week. Uh, we do, we usually go in a circle, um, and we pick movies at random. This week it will be Gavin's week, but we are doing viewer suggestions. That's what we had this week. Uh, one of our four viewers that watch us every week, Aaron, requested <laughs> in Bruges, and we're doing it. I guess it's in Bruges. The S really throws Bruges. me off. Yeah. Well, you're saying the S is Bruges. That's the S, man. And Aaron, it's not worth doing it. We already did it. We got done. Spoilers! Done we it. haven't announced that yet. We were in it, It's Bruges. just the dialect that makes it. Well, that pisses me off. Bruges. Other languages are hard. <laughs> Americans are stupid. Yeah, this yeah, is, we are. They they, they, they <laughs> compounded on that and yeah, yeah, several times. All right, well, all right. We, we well, did in watch Bruges. in Bruges. Yes, Zach, what do you think? Fucking great movie. Um, first off, I kind of want to say in my mind, my head canon, I was kind of working this as a prequel to the Gentleman, uh, where Colin Farrell's character, um, spoiler past this point we should just get that out of the way and before we get too far into this remember to like comment <laughs> subscribe and click that notification stay up to date on all our awesome videos um but back to what i was saying <laughs> um i was working this in my head canon as a prequel to the gentleman which is another movie we watched on our movie movie bookie bookie check it out check it out um that's one of my suggestions um, don't check it out Colin Farrell's character ends this kind of open-endedly possibly working on redeeming himself you don't see that in the film kind of leaves it open-ended like I said but I could see it him becoming the um, trainer that like gathers young troubled children in the other movie the gentleman and kind of like works on giving them their second chance and like being good people and develops a thicker accent slightly thicker accent uh, but he still has the skills that you see in the, that other movie so I uh, overall I really like this one Jerry great job um, yeah I was so into this movie the whole time like at first I'm like you the movie first opens up and I'm like oh god it's gonna be super artsy <laughs> and then you see like Colin Farrell he's like kind of um, against being there and um, doing anything fun and just kind of like watches you know, his partner just enjoy the day from like down on the street while he's like up in the tower enjoying the view and like the beauty of the town and everything. And I'm like, this is why Jerry loves this movie. It's fucking Jerry right there. <laughs> I'm just gonna stay here. Can't why why would anyone go camping when you have your own house? <laughs> <laughs> that is true. That isn't a complete dig at you, but. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. He's going to try and game from this show. Oh, that's good. Yeah. That's good. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> uh, come on. Um, this guy really has it against um, Rouge, to be honest. But what are that? It's Ken and Ray. Ray. Ken is played by Colin Farrell. Um, Ray is played by uh, Mad-Eye Moody from Harry Potter. Mm -hmm. That is not who it is. Yeah, Brendan Gleeson. Yeah, he plays Mad Eye. No. Yes, he does. I was on his IMDb Harry Potter. My God, you're wrong. <laughs> um, but yeah, I love it. I, I wouldn't mind actually owning this one. What do you guys think? Before I go too yeah. into it. Good movie. You've got yeah, Mad Eye Moody is working for Lord Voldemort in this one. <laughs> um, Along with the guy who Grindelwald was disguised as in yeah. the first movie. You, all tying it together. Oh yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Beautiful how they did that. 
But it was a really good movie. I didn't know what to expect going into it. Uh, very slow burn at the beginning, but really pulls it all together nicely. And uh, once again, Colin Farrell is just hilarious in this movie. Yeah. He's a very good yeah. actor. I, I I like British humor pretty good. It's a little bit drier than a lot of... It's not... I like it. That's about it. <laughs> Sorry, the cough threw me off, man. I was trying to keep it quiet. You're good. It's just... Um, yeah, I I like the action parts of it. I liked that it had comedy moments, like a lot of comedy in it. More than I was expecting. It was uh, like, imagine, imagine you keep the tone. That's why I like British comedy, especially in stuff like this, because it's very dry, but it works really well with how it's portrayed especially in dramas like this this is Irish comedy Irish comedy <laughs> Bruges Belgian <Just> comedy Belgium. <laughs> alright I do have fun facts before we get into our rankings uh, Martin McDonough who is the director was inspired to write in Bruges after spending a week in there though initially mes mesmerized by the architecture and museums he admits soon he became bored and just wanted to get drunk that kind of became two characters in my head the culture loving geek and the drunken slut he told me anyway. Uh -huh. He is a drunken slut. The central hitman duo of Ray and Ken were English in McDonough's original script, but were changed to Irish ones. Colin Farrell and Brendan Gleeson came on board. Uh, aside from their early flashback, Farrell's character Ray wears the same outfit throughout the movie, though he does remove his jacket and unbutton a shirt. He never gets changed. Gleeson's Ken, by contrast, changes clothes several times. In Bruges features 126 uses of the F word and its derivatives over the course of the film's 107 minute running time that works out to around 1.18 f words per minute which is amazing was, a lot of it came from harry yeah <laughs> made up for the lack of them in their beginning yeah um yeah. doctor who star matt smith who we just talked about was shitty and morbius uh filmed a scene that was never shown in this movie nice because it was shitty yeah, he played a younger version of Ralph Fiennes' character Harry Who, in a flashback sequence. I can someone. see that he did kind of look for Kevin Smith is kind of cushy. Yeah, I guess. Uh, Bruges is supposed to symbolize purgatory for Ray, who waits for his judgment at the hands of Harry. This is reflected in the painting shown in the not groaning museum. That looks like Matt Groening, so that's what we're going. Uh, the in which Ray and Ken go it, to, it which include groaning. the Last Judgment by. Bosch is the last of the art. Bosch! You know, Bosch. Uh, where is it? Oh. Hieronymus Bosch. In 1482? Hieronymus. Is yeah, no, this was uh, better than a lot of stuff that we've recommended. I was, yeah. I was messing with it on my rankings list. Uh, I think that this is firmly somewhere in that four to six range. Yeah. As it's... far as, then this is our fifth, 15th movie watch. So this yeah. is a... Nice surprise. Yes. Good choice, Jerry. Not as good as Cats. Oh, God. Come on. By any means. going to be. Cats 2, maybe. <laughs> we'll find out. Maybe. God, I want Cats 2 so bad. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> we should start a fundraiser. <laughs> we should. Get that green light. Um, so we are, do we kind of want to talk about the story? or? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Spoilers ahead, like in every other one of our videos. I know, but people like to know that we're going to spoil anyway. Spoilers. Even though we do spoilers every time. Spoilers. 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 Uh, make sure they like, make sure it like flashes red and red, red and blue. A spoiler alert. Make it really disorienting. Just puking spoilers out of my mouth like a rainbow. Sure. Ah. Can you do that, Aaron? Make it really disorientating. Can you make it like a hologram? This says spoilers and spins around in circles while shooting off sparks. Yeah, but I'm not going to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, that's fine. <laughs> um, so basically, the movie that. starts off. Ain't nobody. Got time um, for that. Two hitmen are kind of <clears throat> lying low in Bruges to wait for their next instructions from their um, handler. I would say, who's Harry. Um, we have the culture loving um, Donald Gleason, Brandon Gleason, um, enjoying the town, and we, like I said, Colin Farrell's Ray, uh, just having a down time of it. And you later find out that there's a reason why um, he's having a down time. Is there was an accident during his first um, hit, and you don't find out it's his first hit till way later. Either. Yeah, yeah. Um, and he's just having trouble 
struggling getting through it. Um, and you later find out that Harry's going to turn um, him uh, can against Ray. Um, and it's kind of funny, humorous in a way, but also kind of dramatic and um, sad. And I kind of loved the way they blended that together. Um, it really worked for me. Uh, and then Ralph Fiennes as Harry, just hilarious. Yeah, I yeah. love all the dwarf jokes too. Yeah, yeah. Jimmy, Jimmy, uh, who plays a dwarf in the movie, filming a movie. Jordan, who plays Jimmy. I guess uh, his name is Jordan Pretense. Oh, okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Pretense. Uh, he was definitely one of my favorite characters in the movie. He was hilarious every time he was on screen. Yeah. Um, yeah, him and Colin Farrell were definitely my two highlights for this movie. Oh, Colin right. Farrell is so fucking good. At yeah, it. he is. You Great actor, really funny good. guy. We need to do a top ten Colin Farrell movies or something. Oh, yeah. Because he's got some good ones. Right after Matt Damon. I need to see more of them. I love the humor in it. I love the story in it. It followed. Did not end. I did call it, but it... It was at the spur of the moment for what was going to happen. I yeah, didn't expect the ending completely came out of left. I did not expect it to end the way it did. I, I I've tried going into these newer movies or movies that I haven't seen yet without like trying to predict the ending as I come up with it. I hope for a certain ending, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, but it wasn't quite what I was hoping for. It's really open ended. Like mm -hmm. you don't know uh, yeah. which it character lives, comes out. Well. Yeah. We know some of the characters that die. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, we know three our, of the characters. There's a few character. dumb dumbs in there, so. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Watch the movie. No, uh, Jerry, yeah, this was a great suggestion. I know that, like I said at the top, Jerry's one of, like, four loyal viewers that yeah. we get on most videos. That's why we um, talk about them all the time. But... If you'd like to be talked about, comment and subscribe. <laughs> follow us, be loyal. If you'd like to not be talked about, follow us and subscribe. It doesn't matter. But yeah, do it! Send, do it! Send us more suggestions. There's a lot of movies out there that we haven't seen. It was fun. I think this is the first movie. This was the first movie where none of us had seen it. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it was cool that all four of us were going in blind. I really enjoyed so, yeah, that. Some so. more comment recommendations would be nice. Even Jerry. Even if it's Jerry. If you have more, yeah. throw us more. Doesn't mean we're going to do it every week, but keep throwing them in. Yeah, we'll, yeah. We will get to them. Well, absolutely. Zach, do you want to give us a rating? What do you want to... Hmm. Hmm. Let me give this a 9 out of 10. Eh? 8 and a half. Eight and a half. I was going to go with an 8. Um, yeah, this is something that I will definitely watch again. Yeah. It was so good. Uh, 8. As well, I I really enjoyed it. it had, I like black humor because this is this is a very very black humor movie. It's not some of us don't see colors. <laughs> <laughs> there is going to be a war between the, the black humor movies and the white humor yeah. movies. I'm just minute. saying that there's a lot. Don't um, listen to me. That's a cocaine. <laughs> there's a lot of uh, jokes about drugs and murder and. Assault and stuff like that, and it does, and it plays off very well. But it's if you're don't like <laughs> lots of crime, don't watch it. So last week, before we or two weeks ago, before we took yeah. Jerry's recommendation, it was supposed to be Gavin's week, so we will do Gavin now. Gavin, what movie are you recommending for next week? I am pretty sure that most of us have seen it, uh, but I, there's a plan going with this, so I'm going to choose Evil Dead, the original, Ooh. the original Evil Dead. I'm pretty sure all of you have seen it. I have yeah. not. Zach has not. Zach has not, I, which I, I'm going to take you. A, I'm going to take you on a journey. This it's has only. actually been on my list since watching Doctor Strange. There, I after we watch Evil Evil Dead, everyone's going to know what my next choice is going to be. Evil, Evil Dead Two. Evil Dead Two. And then Army of Darkness. And then Army of Darkness. And then, and then, and then the, the remake. No. And oh. then the remake. Yeah. Te that, technically, that, that is the fourth. And then the that TV show. Oh. The TV show kicks dead. The TV show kicks ass. And, really and then the new well. remake, Army of Darkness. Yeah. They well, that's the video game. game. Re there. Huh? That's the video game. Yeah, that's a game. Turn your sound off. Come on, Gavin. Yeah, no no one texts me normally. Sorry. You amateur. Rookie. <laughs> no. Um, great movie this week. 
Evil Dead, I do like Evil Dead. I do not know where that's going to place on my list because we've had some really good yeah. movies, but excited to watch it again. I haven't seen, I haven't it, seen it in probably 10 years. I, yeah, I'm going to point the synapses. Okay. I uh, should have just kept it up. Synapses? Synopsis. Synapsis. Ashley Synapsis. Ash Ashley Hi. Ash Williams, played by Bruce Campbell. Ash is a girl name. <laughs> is his his girlfriend and three pals hike into the woods to, to a cabin for a fun night away, where they find an old book, the Necronomicon, whose text reawaken, reawakens the dead when it's read aloud. The friends inadvertently release a flood of evil and must fight for their lives or become one of the evil dead. At uh that seems like a spoiler. Uh, sorry, I'm like reading. I'm like, that's a spoiler. Uh, but yeah, that's basically the premise for it. It's a real. It's honestly a really good, solid uh, horror movie. Uh, I will, and we'll talk about Evil Dead Two when we get to that. But Evil Dead One, really solid movie. Uh, I think, especially for a horror movie, it was well filmed. Uh, the horror aspects yeah. are pretty good, and it's not goofy. If yeah. you watch the show, yeah, yeah, Sam Raimi's, yeah, Sam Raimi yeah. movie. I like yeah. him. And, relevant. Uh, and it's relevant? Yeah, it's... For the times. For the times. And we do... A, and there is a game coming out uh, for Army of Darkness. Yeah. Uh, I, it, I thought it was going to be Left 4 Dead-ish. It seems like it's going to be more Friday the 13th-ish. And that... It is, I think, the same company, isn't it? That worries me. Yeah. It needed more <laughs> Left 4 Dead-ish. It worries me, too, because I did not enjoy it. Because, Friday. like, Deadites, like... The creatures, the deadites, they're easy. They're not easy to kill, but they're not like yeah. absurd. We'll I'm like so they... excited to see it. I will play this game. Yeah. And hopefully it takes off. Yeah. But yeah. Join us next week for Evil Dead. Right on. As Zach said at the top of the episode, if you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Uh, we, for the most part, uh, are releasing episodes almost daily. So. Uh, stay tuned. We got a lot of cool stuff coming. Thank you guys so much for watching. It is time to split. split.